I went a little extravagantly on the uh, notch, but I got it where I wanted it. I missed those pines and that oak. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Big old poplar. I'm fat, old, and out of shape. Good job, Steve. Mm, poison ivy. God's gift to your ball. Oh. So I guess I'll be working down there in Poison Ivy Cove. Well, I'll get this a little foul. the view from the seat I've got some six by sixes I'm gonna mill some uh, tenons on for my uh, benches I'm gonna make uh, yesterday I worked on some grading I've uh, cut a little path here around that stump and then I uh, did another bench I excavated and pulled dirt out and built out a platform I'm gonna use that to uh, store lumber i've stuck some over there temporarily um but i need to mill some uh cribbing to set those on to air dry but anyway got that cleared out yesterday and then i'm working on uh, assembling these benches up here had some cool weather move in this feels pretty good got a nice poplar log there to try to get something out of it's got a little bit of insect damage at the uh, at the core but uh, we did mill some decent decent timber out of one that was worse and that's what we've got up there um, so yeah i've invested in some camera gear bought this little thing that i can put the camera in and then i got a new camera stand and whatnot so and i think i got another decent poplar log in there I might be able to get a six by six out of and I may have to but uh anyway that's on the docket for this Monday evening shout out to two guys timber framing here's that idea I'm stealing from you uh doing your joinery 
uh, your your tenons on the sawmill. You can I might be able to get another six by six on here, but I got three right now. Um, anyway, cutting tenons, six by six, inch and a half tenon. That's my first cut. I've laid that out. I'm going to cut three all at once here. And then uh, I'll flip all these and then uh, I'll isolate out the uh, actual inch and a half tenon. Um, I might have a little bit of a struggle bus because I don't have a large uh, circular saw. I just got that uh, little tiny fella. I think I'm going to have to do some investment to uh, do a lot more of this, but uh, I just wanted to get these set up and uh, give it a run. And I'll try to catch it on video here. So my guess is you're better off doing this when uh, it's freshly cut and it hadn't been laying around for a little bit. Because uh, the timbers move, these are pine. Uh, see what happens here. Somewhere I've got a saw. Shouldn't be too far off. Yeah, there we go. So that's my first cut. Now I'll flip these over and cut out the actual tenon. Had a bit of an epiphany before I flipped all these and cut them. Uh, right now, the tenons are all on the same plane. So what I did, I measured my inch and a half down here, leave it in place, and I'll cut under that up to this line. And then, uh, then I can flip them over and uh, make my finished saw cuts. Uh, yeah, that's the way. That way your, your tenons are all consistent. New camera stand. Clear my debris out of the way here. And we'll see just how inadequate my saw is. Debris there. This ain't gonna get it. I can't see. Fat old gutless. Except I got a gut. Look at that. 
yeah sold there really is no better way to do that that's my opinion all right Got my post with my tenons cut, and I've got uh, three of my uh, beams uh, on the mill, and I'm going to start working on all three of those at the same time. I'll show you. As you can see, I got three six by eights, nominally six by eight, on there. I think I could, I think I could do four uh, six inch wide pieces of wood on here. So. Uh, so that'll be cool, but I'm going to, uh, level and square up the, uh, I guess my, uh, mortise face, what do you call that, working face of the beams. It'll make sense once, uh, I start doing it, but yeah, I'm going to make them all level. If the underside undulates, that's fine with me, but I'll be, uh, I'll be chiseling and mortising and drawing on a finished sawn face, which uh, I'll show you here. There we go. That's red oak. That's pine, I think. No, it's poplar. And then uh, I got a fresh piece of piece of poplar here. So now. Got uh, three beams that are flush to one face. So I can do all of my my layout. Do it for the camera, Shrek. Look at that. That'll make this job uh, a lot easier instead of uh, doing one individual beam. I can do my layout across all three and I can save some uh, measuring time. And since this isn't for the house, um, I'm not real worried about finding the perfect timber inside of this, but three six baits. I could do uh, I could do four. That was a slow cut, um, but yeah, that's cool. And now I got a perfect workbench. Just doing it on the mill. I'm so glad I found two guys timber framing. Genius fellas. Anyway. Um, Shout out to Two Guys Timber Framing, and uh, you guys go check them out. They're doing some cool stuff. Got my mortises laid out, so uh, this will be a one-inch house. Cut down all the way across all these, and I'll show you that. But first, I gotta, I gotta drill out the majority of this material in here. But uh, so... Yeah, all laid out, got some cut off here, 
and a little bit of cut off at the other end. But uh, yeah, make these mortises and and uh, drill them and start putting stuff together. But first, I got to get my old janky tool to do this a little homemade action. But I think I'm going to buy a uh, chain mortiser so I can do this all a lot faster. So now I got to I got to drill holes and I got chisel work to do, and that takes a while. And uh, I need to. I need to do stuff faster. Okay, just to give you an idea of what I'm going to do here. Here's my janky mortising machine that I made a couple years ago to do the uh, bunkhouse. Um, it's a pain in the ass because you got to put a lot of downward force to do one of these hair holes. But uh, I think you get the idea. Um, I'm just going to do the first one here, and uh, then I'll save you all of the uh, punishment. Um, what I need to do is uh, I should probably make sure uh, this fits in there as it should. And there's no debris. I see the, I see the first problem right here. New toy, a real live chain mortiser. It's a little heavy, heavier than I thought it would be. But uh, yeah, yeah. Wasn't gonna keep drilling those holes. I got one post that needs, uh, well all my posts need one, two, three, four, six mortises. So that would have never happened. So there we go. It was pricey, but uh, it had to be. We'll get this set up and uh, start doing some mortises. So there you have it. A mortise hole. 
just need to uh, clean up a little bit and then I can uh, I can cut the housing so uh, this thing never more worked in a pinch but uh, yeah I'm gonna retire that anyway I think that's the end of this video um, losing light I'm hot because it's like 900 degrees and uh, it's uh, this is fun I'm pretty excited about that that's a cool tool the Makita sorry about that it's a cool tool the Makita 7104L um, got it off of Amazon unfortunately it's uh, not marked in uh, in uh, Imperial it's uh, it's metric so a, a six inch mortise is uh, what five and a half mil or whatever the fuck five and a half centimeters I don't know I don't understand Europe I don't want to anywho thanks for watching